Hi, this is Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. I want to share with you a devotion from 1 Chronicles chapter 9, verses 26 and 27. It's about certain people back in the days of the, that the chronicler was recording, about the, the erection of the tabernacle and the temple to follow. It says, For the four chief gatekeepers, who were Levites, were entrusted to be over the chambers and the treasures of the house of God. And they lodged around the house of God, for on them lay the duty of watching. And they had charge of opening it every morning. Now that is the task of someone that, that is in charge of, well, of the house of God. And it says, you know, they were Levites. It meant that it was, it was a call that went back before they were born. You know, you were born into the tribe of Levi, and just like I couldn't be help being born an American. It happened without any any discussion on my part. You were born a Levite, which meant you had a task. In um, at a certain point of your life, you would be taking care of the things of the temple. You know, God has already moved in, in our world, and we encounter this world, we ask our questions, and we discover that God has worked to salvation, and we should respond. I suppose these Levites could have disappeared. I suppose they could have been difficult about it, but they did, and they dwelt near the house of God. They're not saying they knew all about God. They're not saying they had all the answers, but they said, I'm going to dwell near the house of God. And they had charge of the things in the house of God that, uh, that someone would care for them. It even, even goes on to say, you know, it was this one's job to count because the things that go on the house of God matter. We should make sure that we, we read the scriptures, we interpret them well, that we encourage others, that we show the love and forgiveness that he's commanded of us. In other words, we need to be servants in the house of God. We are indeed, like the Levites, people especially set apart for God's service. That's what being a Christian is all about. So, my friends, make your day a day where you are near the things of God and you take some responsibility for seeing that His will is done because that is how you live in, in a relationship with Him. Be blessed.